This is what the defensive program at Iowa does for a player. I think what we do defensively as well as how our program is built, it allows you that if, if, if you put the work in and if, if, if you're completely committed to it, then you can make some, some big significant gains. And it's exactly what it did for junior linebacker Josie Jewell. Maybe my sophomore year, I just wanted it was a dream. Um, ever since, I guess, my seventh grade year was a dream. But then, um, you know, playing a little more, I got moved up as a sophomore. Um, to uh, the varsity squad, so I started to think about you know colleges, what to do next, um, and things I really liked. And the University of Iowa had some role models that I really liked to watch. Jewel doesn't give himself enough credit though, as this was his mindset when he first stepped onto Iowa's campus. I, I don't know what they saw in me, maybe physicality. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, some some other good things too. One thing Kirk Ferentz was unsure about was his speed. But as time went on, he laughs at the notion as Jewel credits the strength and conditioning coach Chris Doyle for his physical strides. I, I didn't look that fast on film. Um, even watching <laughs> it back now, I, I look kind of slow. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, I guess uh, Coach Doyle did a great job with me, um, working with me on my body weight um, and with my speed and my you know weightlifting and stuff like that. So he's really shaped me uh, as the person I am today. I mean, I couldn't give it up to anybody else but him. The physical aspect of Jewel's game had him at 126 tackles and four interceptions as a sophomore. But to Kirk Ferentz, it's more than just what he does on the field. He's achieved something that, uh, uh, that no player has done in the last 17 years at our place. He's a tremendous representative. He's done a great job on the field, a great leader. So, uh, you know, we're just uh, thrilled to have him here. There's no surprise that Jewel was voted the first sophomore captain in Hawkeye history. An honor he stays humble and proud of as the season is just around the quarter. Reporting with the Hawkeyes outside of Kinnick Stadium, this has been Taylor Brooks for Daily Iowan TV Sports.